Hi, I'm John from Graystem Farm. This past weekend, we went to Homesteaders of America conference, met some really great people, uh, had a great time up there. Um, met a couple of YouTubers. Uh, there was uh, there were some great lectures, awesome lectures. But I did meet some really interesting people. I met the inventor of something called the log ox. The log ox is designed to help you in the in the woods. I'm sure other people have done videos on it before. We picked this up. The best way to get this, if you're going to get this, is if find out if they're going to go to a conference or something, and they'll give you a really good price on it. You don't have to worry about shipping or anything. So this is the best way to get it, is to actually pick it up right there. If you're going to be there anyway, and they're going to be there, may as well get it there. But it's the Log Ox. We got the Forester Pack. Let's take a look what we got in here. It's supposed to all fit right in this, in this bag. So, some assembly required. Everything looks like it fits nice. Make sure you always put these cotter pins back in because I guarantee you're going to lose those cotter pins. Everything fits in there really nice. And that's used for two purposes. Take that out. These clevis pins, if you lose those, you might be able to get them from Tractor Supply or something, but I'm not really sure. This piece here is going to go on that, but first, we have to assemble it. And we will use just a set of pliers for now. This is a self-locking nut. You can tell that because it has a little marking in the side. A little indentation. It tells you that it's self-locking. I don't know if y'all know that or not, but learn something new all the time. So we're just going to tighten it, just snug it down for now, and then I'll go in the shop and actually get... Eh, it might be okay like this. Yeah, I'll go in the shop later and just get a... Yes, it is standard. It is not metric. So you can use your standard wrenches for that. Hoorah. Pop the pins in here. There we go, just pop the pins right in. No effort at all. Put the other pin in here. And that could be used as a log jack or a log dog. That's what they call it. Depends on what part of the country you're at as to what you call it or not. We'll show you this later, how it works, and then you can actually raise your log up off the ground so you don't mess up your chain and dig into the ground and dull it. It's kind of terrible. So, that goes in there, and you can use that pick for, for grabbing things. But yeah, like I said, we bought this uh, over the weekend so we can uh, help save my back a little bit. You don't want to try to do this stuff and have a bad back, that's for sure. It might be nice to actually put a magnetic tray or a magnet in my bag. Well, let's see if everything fits in the bag. That's your belt holder right there. There it is. That's your belt holder. Put it on a belt. I would use just a, I'll be using a nylon belt. I pretty much always use those nylon belts, and that'll be strong enough to hold that up. Let's try to fit everything, including my chaps in the bag. I think I am going to put a magnet in the bag just in case I throw these in the bag from out in the woods. So I don't lose them. Because I probably will lose them. Because I'll forget to put them on there. But if I throw them in the bag, every time I pull them off, I'll be alright. Okay. 
guess start with the biggest thing first. And move our way down. It's nice, they got little pockets in here so I could probably put my safety glasses in there, maybe a pair of gloves in there. Looks like that'll fit in there nice. And chaps. As you can see, the chaps are well worn. I use these a lot and they work great. If I save my leg once, it's worth every penny. Hospital visit, think about it, hospital visit, our deductible is like $150 for our deductible. And these cost, the chaps cost right around $150. So it's worth it just in the one payment to the hospital besides for all the stitches and possible damage awesome everything fit in there nice I like it and like I said we got the we got the Forester pack we bought that they gave us a discount when we bought it there right at the uh, Homesteaders of America show that was really nice and they do that at a lot of shows they go to and that's those straps are plenty big to be able to fit around your shoulders. This is pretty dry wood that we have here. Um, but I can pick that up like that. So, using this to get the stuff out of the back of the pickup truck would be really nice because I could really reach in kind of far and get stuff out. But the main thing is here, picking these logs up, I can get in there and I can just use my legs and not have to bend over. So, it's going to take a little while for me to get used to this, not bending. I'm so used to bending over to try to pick up the logs. It's going to wear in, I guess. It's a little loose compared to the ones they had there. When they were demoing it uh, at the Homesteader Convention, or whatever you want to call it, when they were demoing it there, uh, I was able to try it before I bought it, which was kind of nice. So if you find you don't like it, you don't have to get it. That's why it's nice going and getting it when they're at something like that. You know, just grab it. Another way they said to, to get the uh, log off, Bring this out here. Another way they said to get the log off is to just like that. Just grab it and pull it back as you move it forward. Is that it's probably the easiest way for loading a truck. I've been real happy at how this thing works. I've been uh, using it, fill this thing up. I mean, it's nice. This is starting to break in a little bit. So I guess it just takes a little movement for it to start breaking in. Uh, cause that that kind of moves freely now where it wasn't moving as free before. So that's the only thing that I saw that was, it was a problem. <laughs> it just needed a little break in. So. Made it nice and easy. My back feels good. We just loaded this up and now we gotta get back to work. Get this unloaded and load it back up again. We'll see you next time.